This is the build video for my 2017 IS-38 Alltrack, aka the R-Track. For suspension, I went with SolarWorks S1s, uh, so used ECS sway bar links. At first, the suspension was a little too low for me in the rear, but Jeremy at SolarWorks hooked me up with some tighter springs. They were a little taller in the back, and they fit great. Other suspension mods are a white line rear sway bar and a Eurosport front strut tower bar. For wheels, I'm running some cheap Alzors from ECS with custom fit VW center caps. Those are wrapped in Michelin cross climate twos. Running a Berger Motorsports flush fit kit, which is 15 millimeters in the front and 20 in the rear. I did a lot with the OBD 11, including things like windows down from fob and windows up from fob. Hatch pop mod using ECS hatch struts. Age needle sweep on start. Our splash screen. Five brake lights. Urban Joke Tails. And I did a bunch of other little lighting tweaks. Uh, fogs independent from everything else with the Euro Switch. Did smoked out sequential signals on the mirrors. Uh, all LED lighting up front. And for power mods, I used a forged winter cooler knockoff to keep things cool. Use an ECS inlet scoop. Uh, I originally tried to do something myself, a little DIY, which did not work out so well. But the uh, scoop is working out really good and really draws that fresh air in there. When you get it in, I sloppily bored out the driver's side of the inlet and used a Euro block off plate on the passenger side. For an intake, I went with HPS, which has a K&N open filter on it. Uh, it's mostly most just for noise, because I love the turbo noises. I did wrap the HPS pipe in insulated heat wrap tape, because, you know, you got to try to keep things cool. The HPS goes into a CTS big bore turbo inlet elbow which feeds the IS38 plus from HPA a little bit of an upgraded IS38 it's uh, wrapped in a forged turbo blanket of course and that dumps into a CTS downpipe which is also heat wrapped everything is run by the unitronic ECU and TCU tunes. There's other upgrades. I went with a BFI engine mount, which is the same durometer poly as the ECS trans mount. Installed a 034 dog bone insert. Went with the APR coil packs and NGK plugs that are recommended. Other than the downpipe and a couple of three and a half inch black tips, the exhaust is stock. My only interior modifications are this nice steering wheel cover that my wife put on uh, and of course the required MQB paddle shifter extensions and the low profile Audi rear headrests.
my build as it sits so far. Uh, the only thing that's changed since I started this video is I switched over to ECS coilovers because the solo works were just really noisy. No matter what I did, I just couldn't get this, the front end to stop being super loud. Uh, the only downfall of the ECS were that the rear springs were really short and made it sit a lot lower than I wanted, but they have a taller seat to it and the solo work springs were a little bit taller, so in combination worked. I've got the perfect ride height for me. Um, so that's really the only change right now. I also changed out a couple of little things like the center caps for my wheels and changed my rear arm edge to the generationally correct one. Oh, and I uh, switched out to black mirror cap covers because the um, carbon fiber ones were fading out on me and I just kind of like the matched look. Um, future plans, I found out that uh, Toonzilla has an MPI flux fuel tune, so soon that will be going on, hopefully sooner than later, um, and then I'll be happy, you know, because everyone's always done with their build. But really, the only things I'm going to change beyond that are just maintenance things. You know, exhaust needs to be done. I'll get new exhaust, bushings, etc. Yada yada. I'm not going to track this car. I love it. It's perfect daily for me. Um, this is where usually people say like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I don't really care. My channel isn't monetized. If you see any of my other videos, I'm a terrible YouTuber. I make crappy videos that are just basically for me. I just wanted to share my build with you guys. So. Um, Pretty much the only car related thing that'll probably be coming up is um, my wife's Mark 7 that we picked up late last year. Uh, got some build plans with it. So, you know, if you want to check back, hopefully that build will be done within the next six months or so and I'll make a video for it. So, um, thanks for checking out my build video. Um, not the fastest all track in the world. Brian there in BC has got that sweet white one from Toonzilla. Props to him. So uh, anyhow, that's it. That's my build, and thanks for watching the video, guys.